Thanks for joining us today, Mark. Uh, so, in general, what was your view on the game today? So, we started started really well. First 20 minutes, we hit the bar three times. I was delighted. I thought, if I'm honest with you, I thought we were going to win us a canter. But football's a, a strange game and it's got a, a habit of kicking you at times when you get too cocky. And for some, um, for some reason, we just dropped off. And for the next 25 minutes, I have to say, we were lucky to stay in the game. Um, the lads obviously reacted to what was said in the dressing room because we came out second half and for 80% of the game we dominated possession, just couldn't turn it into goals. So all I can say is seven points out of nine, all away from home at the start of the season with a new team. Uh, I couldn't be any happier really. Uh, in terms of the goals, what did you think of them as well? So obviously we scored one and they scored one, so what's your take on them? Very disappointed with their goal. As I say, we dropped off, but we dropped off for some reason. Um, chances to, to win the ball, chances to dominate the ball. Um, but as I said, we came out second half and the goal we scored was a great goal from Dan Green. We had other chances. We got round the back of them several times. All it needed was a cool head just to pick people out. We didn't manage to do that. But at the end of the day, we go away from here with uh, a point. As head of uh, football development for Leamington Football Club, how have you found uh, the reserve side coming? Because obviously it's the first season for the lads. You know, it's a new team, it's a new league. Not a lot of them know each other. How have you found it coming together? You know what? Putting the, putting the reserve side together, the under 23s, um, it's a final piece really before the first team. I'm absolutely delighted. And what we try to do, it's not, not just about the players, but the staff as well. If you look at our staff, you've got yourself, Marcus, as goalkeeping coach, but you're also working across the club in the junior section, in the schools, in the disability section. You've got Scott as the manager, who's also doing the same, working across the whole club. So they've got a real feel for the club. Um, Lewis Marston's just come in as a, as a full-time coach. And again, he's going to work across all areas of the club, uh, culminating with the under-23s and running the under-23s as the head coach. And then, of course, you've got Emma, the administrator, who works right across the club. So what you've got now, you've got a staff that believe in the whole club and what we're trying to do as a club across the community. And you've got a bunch of players now that know that the staff love the club and they've got Leamington people in and around the club with yourself and Scott and Emma. Um, and they know that and that way you'll get a real feel for wanting to play for the, for the team. So with the post-16 academy now, the college side, with the 18s that we've got the floodlit side under Tommy Byrne and with the reserves now, the under 23s, all of our staff know all of the players and it's got to be a fantastic thing for the club. So it sounds like the Leamington Football Club have a bright future ahead of them then, would you agree? 100%, 100% and with some of our players now going into the, to the first team and I have to say with the first team manager, longest serving manager in the National League, he deserves to have an infrastructure that can help the first team. So with the young lads going in and supporting the first team players um, and then gaining experience as to what it takes to be a first team player, that's got to really help the manager and it's got to really help the kids. That's great. Thanks very much, Mark. Brilliant.